Hi everyone, this is Sultan with the Get WP Funnels team. And today I'm here to show you the newest WordPress plugin, WP Funnels. WP Funnels is a unique funnel builder in WordPress with which it is possible to create effective sales funnels in as low as 15 minutes. In fact, it is the only funnel builder in WordPress that comes with a drag and drop canvas to plan your funnels visually. And then you can design and execute your funnels using the same tool without leaving your WordPress dashboard. The plugin comes with all the funnel sales triggers such as order bump, upsells and downsells and soon we will also bring in integration with form builders so that you can create lead generation funnels as well let me give you a quick overview of the plugin and then i'll create a simple sales funnel so that you can see firsthand how great this plugin turned out to be so let's get started as you can see i already have the plugin installed and activated and once you click on wp funnels it will take you to this page, which is the overview tab. This is usually where all the funnels you create is listed, right? Right now I didn't create any funnels yet. That's why it's showing create your first funnel. But later on, I'll show you that after I create a funnel, it will be listed over here, all right? Uh, now, before I go over the funnel creation process, uh, I want to go through the settings tab, all right? Let me just click on settings. And it will take you to this page. Now, these are all the settings that you have already gone through if you have run through the setup wizard when you install the plugin the first time. Now, if you skip the setup wizard and want to run the setup wizard again, you can click on run setup wizard in the top right corner. And uh, other than that, you can also make changes to these settings on your own even without the setup wizard. Uh, for example, here you can choose the funnel type. Right now, we only have one funnel type, which is the sales funnel. In future, we are working on creating lead generation funnels and hybrid funnels as well. Uh, then you can change your preferred page builder. I have selected Elementor. You can also change it to Gutenberg if you want to. And whichever uh, builder you choose, you can click on Sync Templates so that it can bring in the templates that we have created for that particular page builder, all right? So when creating the funnel, if when you have a choice to choose the template, you'll only see the templates for your preferred page builder. You'll see what I mean later on in this video. And once you've made changes, you can click on save so that the changes are saved into the plugin. All right. Next is the permalink menu. This is something you've also gone through in the uh, setup wizard. Uh, this is basically the permalink structure uh, for your funnel steps. OK, you can change the structure based on these three formats or you can actually change the funnel base or the step base name within the uh, URL structure. OK, now another new thing we have worked on is the offer settings where we allow each order for an upsell and downsell to be a child product when you have made an order, all right? So this is something you'll see new when you release the Pro plugin, okay? The sneak peek. All right, so let me go to the overview page again. And now I'm gonna show you how to create a simple sales funnel so that you can see firsthand how this plugin is, all right? So to create the first funnel, uh, let me just click on create your first funnel. And once I click on it, you'll see that you'll get the templates to choose from or you can start one from scratch all right so initially since you're new with this it's best to try out one template to understand how this works and then you can go into creating one on your own if you want to all right now these are certain templates that we have researched and found out that are really effective and neutral for several industries for example this is pretty good for supplement products this is great for ebooks just like that we have many more templates coming up so you will have uh, at least a good template that's basically good for your own niche all right so for this tutorial i'm gonna show you a funnel for an ebook that we have all right so i'm gonna import the ebook template so first once you click on this template you can actually view the steps this uh, template has all right so this has the three basic templates the landing page the checkout page and the thank you page all right so to import i can click on import here and you'll see that this is going to import the template into my funnel. Just give it a minute and then you'll see that how we are taken into the funnel mapping canvas, which you'll really love. There you go. Now, this is basically a drag and drop canvas to map your funnels. Let me show you. Let me click on this and drag it down here. I can click on this dragon down there. I can move it down here. All right. So basically I can map my funnels 
all right uh, i can decide which step comes after which one with this arrow which i can draw on my own let me show you let me just first uh, remove this arrow once I'll, I'll tell you how to remove that later let me click on this and you see this part if i click on here and drag it to the step this is connected all right so that's how i map my funnels and this does not just mean that you're connecting these two this means that when your funnel is actually executed this will be the next step after the landing page all right so that's how simple it is to use this plugin so the funnel mapping canvas is something that you need initially to plan your funnels so for this funnel i'm just going to use the standalone three uh, steps that i have if you want to add more steps you can click on this one and add maybe an upsell or a downsell and then this one you can click to add a conditional node with which you can set conditional redirections now i'll be showing you the conditional redirection in one of my future videos not in this one because i want to keep it simple here so that you understand how the plugin works all right now that we're on the canvas uh let me show you around all the options that are available here all right uh first off as i showed you a few seconds ago you can click this to add a new step and you can click this one to add a new conditional step uh, over here you can click to change the name of the funnel and uh, this button is to preview the whole funnel after you, you're done creating it and you have saved it and this is the save button with which you save it uh, over here you'll find option to delete this funnel and in future we're going to add uh, more analytics option over here at the bottom right corner you can see of the option to zoom in or zoom out uh, this funnel canvas okay now each of these individual steps have their own options uh, once you select them let me just show you once i select the landing page uh, you can see it has two options one is to preview this page and another one is to edit this page so once i edit this it's going to take me uh, to the edit mode on my preferred page builder as i showed you earlier my preferred page builder is uh, elementor so this is going to open uh, this landing page in elementor edit mode all right uh, if i select the checkout step you can see it has three options here one is to preview one is to edit and there's a third one which is to configure okay the same goes for the thank you step it has three options once you have added a step you also have the option to remove that just right click on this and you'll see there is a cross uh, icon on the top right corner if you click on that this is going to be removed so the same thing goes for the connector you hover on the connector and right click on it and you'll find a cross icon if you click on this this connector will be removed all right so now once you're creating the funnel the first thing to do is to decide what product this funnel is for and i'm sure you've already uh, premeditated what product you want to sell using this funnel uh, that's why you started creating this one uh, so what you can do is you can assign that product to this funnel to do so you'll see that on the checkout strip it says no product added so click on this and here we will click on the configure button so once you click on this it's going to open a drawer which has all the options uh, for configuring the checkout page and the first thing you see is the products tab this is where you assign what product you're going to sell using this funnel you can add multiple products if you need to for now i'm just going to add the one i'm selling here all right so let me just name the book I'm selling, it's Design Thinking. So I selected it and after that, if I click on Add Product, this will be added over here. And then I simply have to click on Save Changes, okay? So now I have assigned a product to my funnel, okay? So you can see that uh, warning that says no product added is no longer there, okay? And uh, other than that, the checkout page has more configure options where you can add an order bump if you want to. Uh, and pretty soon we are going to include the uh, custom fields for this uh, so that you can customize your checkout page as you want all right uh, uh, let me just move on to the thank you page here you can see it also has a configure button if i click on the configure one it opens a drawer which lets me choose what i want to display in the thank you page all right so after somebody orders uh, a product or takes your offer uh, you can choose what information you want to share in the thank you page okay so you have these four options enable order overview enable order details enable billing details and enable shipping details okay so these are the basic uh, options you get in the canvas now let me just show you by editing the landing page just so that you know how it works 
So once I click on the edit button, it's taking me to the Elementor edit mode. And there you go. So this template is loaded uh, and all you have to do is you need to replace uh, this text with the text you require to sell your product and your funnel will be ready. Now this button here is not necessarily a button within Elementor. This is basically one of our widgets, which is the WP Funnels uh, next step button widget. Let me just show you. If I scroll down on the widget section, you'll find this option, WP Funnels next step button. So let me click on this button. Once I click on this, it has this option to configure this uh, button and you can change the text and uh, you can use the default style options from Elementor to change the color and the typography. All right, and uh, pretty much everything else is normal. You can uh, edit this page, edit this template, however you need using your page builder. And uh, it should not take too long because it has been designed so that all you need to do is change the text and the images and you're good to go, all right? So that's how it's gonna work. It's gonna be the same thing when you edit the checkout page or the thank you page. You're gonna uh, design the pages using your favorite page builder or page editor, whichever is suitable for you, okay? Now, since this is a template, I didn't have to do much of a designing. Uh, this template is pretty much good to go once I assign the product, okay? So let me just save this template, okay? Now I can preview this template by clicking on this button, uh, but before I do that, I want to show you how this is listed in the overview tab that I showed you earlier. If I click on this one, it's gonna take me back to the overview dashboard, all right? And here you can see, this is the one I just created. It says how many steps I have. And here you can see, I can click on view to view the funnel, and I can click on edit to edit this funnel, all right? And I have this uh, three dots with which I can either duplicate this funnel or delete this funnel. So uh, first, let me just view this funnel I just created, and you can see for yourself how this looks. So once I click on view, it's gonna take me uh, to the first step of the funnel, which was the landing step, all right? And if I choose to take the uh, offer and I click on this, and it will take me to the checkout page. And here I'm ready to pay for this. I'm on the checkout page. I can choose my payment option and you can see the product is added right here, okay? Now, if I would use an order bump, the order bump offer would appear on this page as well, but I'll show you how that works in another video uh, later on, okay? So let me just click on place order and it's going to take me to the thank you page to confirm my order okay so that's it that's how simply you can use wp funnels to create funnels and i'm pretty sure now you have a good idea how to use the plugin now in my next video i'm going to show you how easily you can create a complete sales funnel in less than 15 minutes okay so until then thanks for watching this video take care